welcome back this is kevin again let's continue i already told you this part must be an interesting don't have the old dub what do we do when we don't have an old dub whenever you asking for a bios always the bios makers uh, will ask you for the old dumb and per model number okay you have only the model number you have it na in your uh, behind the laptop i mean the back panel have the full part number which is like uh, i am taking an example of hp 1000-1131 tu copy i mean uh, search the bios original from the manufacturing website i am just copying the name paste and then drivers and here support.hp and here you can directly download softwares detected operating system itself nice then click bios download uh, just download this it's nearly 7 mb 7.1 mb My internet is not much fast, but better than Jio nowadays in Chennai. Copy this and I will paste this in my workshop folder. Now, the same process. Right click and extract using RAR. The file is extracted. I have one 5 MB FD file. Yeah, only one. Okay, let's use this on tool HP inside flash on tool to decrypt. Next. wait for a few then copy if uh, you downloading some bios files and if you don't have the copy option in that inside flash exe i will i can uh, help you to file like that this one have a facility to you have here to copy some files doesn't support or give support like this you have like they given a option to copy some may not give the option then how do you encrypt that file i will tell you at the end of this class okay remember that now select copy and click next browse folder and in desktop I select uh, BIOS Workshop. Okay, next. Done. I got it. B file, which means my BIOS should be 5 MB. And I never saw any BIOS chip uh, in 5 MB. It must be a plus 1 MB. 
okay sometimes you can see that uh, some people may change the bios chip also it may be in 1 mb and they will put 4 mb bios chip or 2 mb bios chip and you will searching for 2 mb file i need 2 mb bios file i need 2 mb file but you can uh, you have an easy method open the schematic you can see what is the exact size of that bios chip okay now let's go i got the encrypted uh, decrypted file and uh, open with the hex editor wow i got uh, z 16 dot analyzer which means this bios is also an intel bios and having me region okay always remember the me region acting with the pc management engine it's intel management engine it's only for intel bios okay uh, more detail i will take in me class okay now let's go uh, in this case i'm 99 sure that 4 mb must be the main bios and the ec bios must be 1 mb so and for confirm is it uh, really 5 mb or not okay let me take my calculator 4 into 1024 into 5 524280 yeah we got the same value okay now i need the size of 4 mb 4 into 1024 into 4 equal to 4194 copy this before going to any offset you must click on the first offset offset zero then go to and then paste the value here go this is the exact value of 4 mb now i'm going to cut the old data after this yes Oh. I'm sorry better copy otherwise it will copy 256 extra copy open a new file and I paste here yes nine four one nine four three zero four yes this is your a main bios main bios which contains the ma and you can save this save us what was the model number uh hp thousand hyphen thousand hyphen One second. One one three one T U. One three one T U dot. Ah, uh, before that you should say, right? Main M A I N dot bin. Save. Now you got the main, and click here. And copy all the data below this like this copy control new new file and I paste here yes it's one zero four eight five seven six we should confirm with the calculator is it really one MB no four eight okay, I'm sorry one zero two four into one zero two four equal to one zero four eight five seven six it's exactly one mb now save this save us i'm going to save this not main this one is our easy bios 
e se bias may have a question may have a question where is the serial number or product information right we don't have the old backup in our old backup we must have the data in that old backup now what we do how to insert the product information serial number all those things we have a tool wait a second we can download it from softwares it's called uh, dmi2 for those nobody uploaded that one sorry i will upload that file tomorrow it's dmi tool you can insert the product information everything so that you have to only make a bootable usb drive all the information how to make the usb and how to insert all those information uh, will be pdf file okay so don't worry about that it's easy nothing big deal okay uh, something i said that i will tell you at the end of the class what was that what it was ah the decryption don't have a decryption uh, option with the hash then how do i make my own okay. first extract this because this exe file have an option to decryption now the uh, platform configuration file and before that you note this number i'm going to note with the sticky note 01854 okay now open this file oh, the font size is too bigger in this so i'm opening this with notepad don't mind now look for the number what i noted here which is 01 here you go file name here you can see the file name 01854 change the name you can place your own name like i am going to give this rics prefix network institute for chipla studies rics.fd okay what one is that new one i'm sorry about that okay now just see this close and it, the file name in the platform configuration file you must change the fd file also i mean the file name you should give here the name rics.fd if you give it your own name you change your name like uh, suppose i am giving kevin and uh, i i should rename the fd file also kevin.fd okay now let's see what happened yes next you can uh, place your ted bios file in this folder and give that name whatever you given in the platform configuration file given uh, like i given rics.fd you just given your name whatever the name you given okay next browse desktop bios workshop okay next copying files see here i got rics.bin it must be an encrypted file or decrypted file it's a decrypted file open 
exoshop yes it's decrypted okay so it's a very simple method nothing to worry if you don't have that option uh, easily do that okay thanks for watching uh, i hope we will meet next friday same place bye then